This video is going to be my first attempt at building the ultimate gaming setup. And my tagline is obviously, bigger is always better. Now I could just plug my PC into my TV and call it a day. But what if I want to go really big? Now, in order to fulfill my fantasies of overcompensating, we need more than just a massive high refresh rate, low latency display, which we definitely have one of those. But I'm one of those audio visual nerds that believes that 60% of what you see is what you hear. If that makes sense, that sounded less stupid in my head. But we need a good set of speakers and a decent gaming system to power the ultimate gaming display. And with that, let's have a look at all of the parts that we're gonna use for our ultimate gaming setup. Now this is pretty exciting because I wanted to go really big, as in a hundred plus inches big, I kind of have to use a projector. BenQ recently released the TH685, which is not only a 120 hertz projector, almost forgot the word projector there, but it also has an input lag of only 8.3 milliseconds, which according to TFT Central, is the boundary between a loser gaming panel and a non-loser gaming panel. When it comes to the rest of the specifications of the projector, it's a 1080p projector with a bright 3500 lumen DLP bulb that, combined with 95% coverage of the Rec. 709 color space, means you get an amazing low latency image from this projector. It's also got a 5 watt speaker built in, but we're going to supplement that with Mica R RB42s powered by an SMSL AD18 amplifier. These speakers are awesome and I bought them because of a Z Reviews review. You can check that out if you want more details on the speakers. As far as rear I.O. on the projector, it's got two HDMI ports, which means you have some flexibility to plug multiple sources into the projector, which I think is really nice. Considering that this is a 1080p projector, we don't need super powerful T-Rex based gaming systems to get smooth results. So as far as the PC goes, we've got an i7 9700K at 5.1 gigahertz, a GTX 1080 and 16 gigs of RAM. And finally, peripheral wise, I'm using a Corsair K70 with a Logitech G703 on a very professional bit of white particle board. Now setting up my ultimate gaming setup was quite interesting because I've never used a projector before and the only large open white wall I have has a thermostat and a light switch pretty deep into the wall. So it means that the projector image kind of has to be a bit off center from the actual speakers, uh, which may drive your OCD crazy. And that combined with having to use a bit of particle board with your peripherals on it on your lap, means that long-term comfort while gaming is, is not really a thing. You kind of spend the whole time sitting like this gaming and that kind of does a number on your neck. As you can see, I mounted the projector very professionally on, on a little stool, although it's quite convenient that you have to put the projector behind you because it means that you have the PC really close to where you are, so it's easy to plug in peripherals and stuff like that. And considering the fact that the NZXT N7 motherboard has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, it's really easy to connect the speakers because they've also got Bluetooth, which that's, that's just all very convenient. Just a quick disclaimer before I show footage of the projector image. Uh, because of how a projector works, uh, they often do produce a visual artifact called the rainbow effect. And that basically is just a bit of a rainbow cast over the footage. Now, this is quite apparent on the footage that I take of the, ca of the, the projector image, but in person, neither Anna or myself could pick it up at all. Um, but some people are more sensitive to it than others, so I don't feel like I can comment on how bad the rainbow effect is with this projector because, well, I can't see it. What's it like to game on my ultimate gaming setup? Now, in a word, it's really epic. Uh, to test the FPS gaming chops of this projector, I fired up Escape from Tarkov, which ran surprisingly well and I couldn't feel any input lag. Although, because of how huge the image is, weirdly, it's quite difficult to scan the horizon for enemies and stuff like that, because you have to be really hyper aware in Escape from Tarkov, 
it, it becomes quite difficult to take in the entire image. After that, I moved over to PUBG, and that's when I became really impressed with this ultimate gaming setup. There's something about how bright PUBG is, and when you have the really flat gaming profile on the projector, it just... It looks amazing, it's so responsive. Because it's only 1080p, PUBG runs as smooth as a baby's bottom. It was a brilliant gaming experience. I also tried some Dirt Rally, which was really nice. That again works very well with the projector. And after plugging in my Nintendo Switch, some Super Mario also goes down really well at over 100 inch. And aside from the huge image, the speakers also really do a great job of immersing you into the content because they sound huge and powerful and it just matches the size of the projector image. They work really well together. Quickly moving away from the gaming experience, there's something very different about watching a movie on a projector. There, there isn't quite as much definition and fidelity as like a 4K TV, but it just, it looks really cinematic somehow, which is a word I don't really like using, but it's kind of like, you know, a normal TV is like a digital camera, where a projector is like a film camera. It, 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 it isn't as sharp and detailed, but there's just something really special about the image. In conclusion, is this the best gaming experience I've ever had? Kind of yes and no. Playing PUBG on a 100 plus inch, 120 hertz image with those amazing speakers is a sight to behold. But it doesn't work as well for all games. Escape from Tarkov is a very dark game, and on a projector image it's quite difficult to see people in the shadows, even with the really flat gaming profile on the projector. Projectors are pretty sensitive to ambient light. If there's any other light in the room, the image can become quite washed out, which means in my situation, I can only really get the most out of this projector at night. And that combined with the fatiguing position because of the bad positioning, which again is my fault, but it means that it becomes a bit of a niche experience. Another thing to bear in mind is that projector costs $800 combined with the 300 odd dollars of the RB42s with the amplifier, if you can find them, means that the setup without the actual gaming PC costs about $1,100, which is a lot of money. But bear in mind, on the scale of home theater setups, $1,100 for a projector and speakers is actually not that bad. It's kind of like a Golf GTI. A Golf GTI is an expensive, nice car. But if you compare a Golf GTI to an AMG Mercedes, it's much less expensive. And if you compare an AMG Mercedes to a Rolls Royce, the, 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 the Mercedes doesn't seem that expensive. So basically what I'm trying to say is this is the Golf GTI of home theater gaming setups. But taking all of that into account, if you're looking for a large format gaming experience, this setup does really deliver the business. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Check out my stream, which will happen later today. I'll have it linked in the description below. And until the next video, bye-bye.